If your company has been posting articles on LinkedIn, you can now promote them with LinkedIn's new sponsored articles. Now it's not available in every account yet, so you may need to wait a little bit, but this video will show you everything you need to know to get started. We will talk over the campaign objectives where you can use sponsored articles, and then we'll talk over some of the limitations so you can be aware of how the campaign setup works. In order to sponsor or promote an article, of course, your company needs to have an article created on their page. So right away, I'm gonna talk about the first limitation with these new campaigns, but it's very minor. Your article must be part of an organic post from your company page. We see where my mouse is, here's where you can start writing an article. I'm not gonna cover best practices for writing an article on LinkedIn. Here is a link where you can go to on LinkedIn that talks more about that. But make sure that you have everything in place, you'd go through all the steps, and then you would publish it on your feed. I already did this, so I'm gonna head back. But the limitation I'm talking about is just stressing that you have to do it as an organic post. It is possible, if I go to create, that you can share articles via a newsletter. Any of the articles that were created and shared via a newsletter do not live in your content library. So when we get to the portion where we need to create the ad, any of your newsletter articles will not appear in the content library. So then you really can't sponsor them. So you see, it's a minor limitation, but if that's the only place where you've been sharing articles, you're gonna have to start moving them to the organic post in order to run sponsored article campaigns. So we have a pin post here, but there we see, just before I'm recording this video, I just created something. So now we're getting to the first part of how we can promote this article. The first option is to just find it in your feed and you should see this boost button. I'm gonna click on it. And I'm so used to working in Campaign Manager that this view is definitely odd. But first you can select your campaign objective. No matter how you're sponsoring your article, these are the only three campaign objectives allowed for now. And they are brand awareness, engagement, and lead gen campaigns. So after this, once we get into a manual campaign build, these are still the three options. And then here from the boost post scenario, there's all your targeting options, locations. Yes, you can go up and start selecting your specific audiences if you have them. It's pretty simple. Notice that you can go to campaign manager, but if you're done filling it out, you can just boost it here. I honestly don't know if they automatically create a campaign group for you. That's because I do like to build my own campaigns from scratch in campaign manager for better organization. So let me go into the pages campaign manager. Okay, once I'm in here, I'm just gonna select a campaign group and go ahead and let's start creating a new campaign. Confirming all this, I'll just click next. Of course, we wanna name the campaign. And then here we see a better view of the campaign objectives. Again, it's brand awareness, engagement, and then back up to lead generation. When I think of a sponsored article, it's definitely more on the brand awareness side. So I think this is going to be the best objective suited for this campaign type. Scrolling down a little bit, connected TV only campaigns are turned off. You don't have to worry about that. But if you want to learn more about connected TV campaigns, watch this video here. Next, choose your location, go through all of your targeting options, find the best audience for you. Of course, I'm going to turn audience expansion off initially. I'm not going to cover targeting options within LinkedIn. Our most recent video about LinkedIn targeting options can be found on the screen right now. But choose all of your options. I'm going to keep scrolling down. And for ad format, we have to leave it as single image ads. If you already have a campaign created, you can add sponsored article ads to a pre-existing campaign as long as the ad format has already been selected as single image. If not, you will have to go back and create a new campaign. So single image is the only option for now. And we keep scrolling down. Notice LinkedIn's audience network is a placement for this particular campaign objective. So if you don't want that, remember to turn it off. Select your budget. Select your schedule, add in whatever conversion tracking, and then I'm gonna click next. And of course, save. And LinkedIn's already trying to push this for me, even during my video, really promoting the new ad type here. I'm gonna X out of this, but they're pointing to the right spot. We wanna look at browsing existing content. Notice that we don't have an article here because we're in the wrong spot. Remember where we posted the article in the very beginning of this video? It was at the company page. So make sure you shoot over to the company page button. And here we see the very basic article that we made just for the sake of this demo. Now, because in the horrible article example that I created, I did not add an image. We don't see an image here, and that's why there's nothing posted here. It's the published on LinkedIn. That will be the image, so make sure you are adding images to your article. If I show you again, here's the article. Let me edit it. Let's just upload something. Update it here, going back, scrolling down, and now we see that the image is added to the article. So heading back to Campaign Manager, 
I refresh the page, so I'm gonna go back and browse existing content, back to the company page, and there we see the image is now part of the ad itself. Now you know the main banner image for your article is going to be the creative for your sponsored article ad. Now we can go to add to campaign in the lower right, and it's simple enough for us to add it. Now if I go to this menu button here, which I typically do when creating ads, because I do try to have five ads within every campaign, but notice, I can't duplicate it to make any changes. I can't edit it. So if this literally is the only article you wanna promote, that could be quite possible and that's okay. Just leave it as this one ad. You can't change anything. You're not adding any additional text. We can't test different images for the same article because it's pulling the banner image. Now what you can do is potentially promote several articles within the same campaign. If you are pumping out content consistently and you have the capabilities to do that, to make this a little evergreen, that is an option. I would just say make sure that your audience size is large enough that you're not hitting a small group with the same articles over and over again. Just be aware of that. Now remember this is from the brand awareness objective. Let me show you one thing. For this one, I created another campaign. This time I made it the lead gen campaign objective, just so you can see the difference. The initial process was the same. I already selected the article. I added it to the campaign. I have to do that first before I could associate the lead gen form to this article campaign. The call to action when someone first sees your sponsored article will be to unlock the article. We cannot change this. Think of this almost as LinkedIn's document ads. With document ads, they can preview at least one page before you gate it and have the form there. In this case, they're still gonna see the article image, the headline, whatever preview text does show, but then you can try to gate the article and someone's gonna see the form. So if you have lead forms existing over there for this type of content, then you can just choose one of your existing forms or you'll just go ahead and create a new one. Pretty typical, there's the offer headline, the details, any of your hidden fields, custom questions. The confirmation message here will be ignored because just like document ads, because you're gonna send them to the article afterwards. Not saving that one, I just wanted to show you as an example. But if you click next, Make sure everything looks good, and then you can launch the campaign. And then of course, once the campaign is launched, you can review a variety of metrics. If you go up to columns, depending on what your campaign objective is, maybe do you wanna look at leads, engagement, potentially just overall clicks on the ad to see if they're actually going and reading the article, or go ahead and customize the columns to find the metrics that are important for this particular campaign goal. It really is a very simple feature. So even if you don't have sponsored articles within your account yet, look out for it it is still slowly rolling out. But if you know your target audience is on LinkedIn and you're not getting the organic reach with your articles, it doesn't take much to promote it to your audience on the platform. If you have any other questions about LinkedIn sponsored articles or anything else about LinkedIn ads, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.